1927, at the 5th Solvay Conference on Physics in Brussels, Belgium, a new proposal of mind over matter was admitted to try to resolve inexplicable behaviors on quantum mechanics. With the greatest minds in physics attending, such as Einstein, Pauli, Dirac, Bohr, Heisenberg, Curry, de Broglie, Schrodinger, just to name a few, the subject of consciousness and the atomic world was at hand. Heisenberg and Bohr approached Einstein with a new theory that the minds of the researchers were affecting the results of the experiments. The mathematics of predictability were not repeatable and reliable enough to explain what was happening. Einstein could not accept this at first because it violated all mathematical models. Years later, he admitted it was happening. Einstein said, anyone who becomes seriously involved in the pursuit of science becomes convinced that there is a spirit manifest in the laws of the universe, a spirit vastly superior to that of man. A spirit is not a mechanical force like gravity, electromagnetism, or the strong and the weak forces. A spirit is consciousness. So for Einstein to have made this great transformation can only mean that something convinced him that it was really happening, that the universe is alive and we are part of it. Did great powers hide the truth about what was discovered at the conference because they knew they could not control us if we knew the secret powers of our minds and collective consciousness. All matter originates and exists only by virtue of a force. We must assume behind this force is the existence of a conscious and intelligent mind. This mind is the matrix of all matter. Max Planck, the father of quantum physics. What is the language of quantum communication? How does the universe communicate from subatomic particles, wavelets, superstrings, atoms, planets, to stars, galaxies, and all living beings? Is there a communicative symphony happening all the time that remains invisible to our current technology and awareness? What if we understood its secret? Oh my God, we would know how to talk to the Creator, nature, science, and each other, and interstellar civilizations. Are we in communication before we meet in person? How do we as human beings communicate with each other? How do we find our true love, life partners, our soul matches, our families, business partners, our careers, teachers, and life purpose? And how do we find God? Super athletes and psychics and healers and telepaths have much higher body voltage than the average person. Dr. William Tiller conducted human voltage studies on human beings who were Qigong masters or healers demonstrating extrasensory abilities. As all seven of our body's energy centers send out living light waves of different frequencies and amplitudes, they are also sending out our personal information. This means our inner spiritual architecture represents a personal signature of our knowledge, experiences, desires, feelings, true intentions, and deepest thoughts. This signature will be met with a response, whether we are conscious of it or not. The people we meet 
and the spiritual experiences we attract by coincidences may not actually be coincidences. They may be the results of our personal broadcasting, the DNA code. For the first time in history, Dr. Bruce Lipton is proving that we can actually reprogram our DNA if we are dissatisfied with our blueprint and broadcast a new message about ourselves to the universe.